You will learn how to load PDF documents into the document format using Langchain. I am going to import PyPDF loader from Langchain. I will write here from Langchain underscore community dot document loaders import PyPDF loader and then I am going to execute a code. Now I am going to make an object of this PyPDF loader and save it in the variable loader and then I will call this PyPDF loader and inside this I am going to pass the PDF file name and my PDF file name is pdf-sample.pdf and this PDF file is in the same directory where I am I have created this notebook and if your PDF file is in some other directory you have to give your entire path and for example if I print here pwd so this is my present working directory and if I do ls so these are the files that are present in this current directory and here you will see I have this sample pdf it will be somewhere here only so its name is pdf dot sample and here you can see I have this PDF file PDF dot sample dot PDF so if your file is not in the same directory then please provide the correct path the entire path and now I am going to execute our code then I will call this loader to just check so here it says this is document loaders pdf dot py pdf loader and now I'm going to make one variable pages where I'm going to split this pdf I will write here pages and then I will call our loader object and from this I will call the method load and split and then let us execute our code and now let us print these pages and here in the output uh, you will see that our PDF file has been loaded and if I check the type of these pages so it is a list and this is the content of our PDF file and to make it appear good or in clean way I am going to run a for loop and then I am going to show you this original PDF file and we will compare and see what we have what we are seeing here is actually matching with the PDF that we have so let me call a for loop here before I show you the actual PDF file or I can just call this content print and then I will give it here zero index and then page underscore content so this one, this page content that you see here, I'll just copy it from here and then I'm going to paste it here. And first I have to write here pages. I'm sorry, I forgot to write pages here. And now I'm going to execute it. So now here in the output, you can see, uh, we are seeing this in a much cleaner uh, format here. So we have this Adobe acrobat pdf files and then um, this is uh, the content that we have in this pdf file and now let me open this original one here so this is a pdf dash sample and i will open this and show you so if i go back to the jupyter notebook and you will see here it is starting from here add up at the rate it is actually starting from here adobe acrobat pdf files and here also you will see adobe acrobat pdf files and then adobe and this trademark r portable document pdf and so on and its last line is page at a time for fast display on the web and here also you will see the last line so we have this page at a time for fast display on the web so it has correctly loaded this pdf documents and if we want to work on this pdf document then we can go ahead and do the uh, whatever task we want to perform on this pdf 
So this is how you can load PDF file using Langchain. And in my next video, I am going to show you how we can load online PDF files. So in that case, we do not need to download those PDF files. We can directly read those online PDF files using Langchain. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.